When you insert a pivot table, there is an option called add this data to the data model. So we're going to use this feature data model to be able to do this. But before you do this, what you have to do is convert all your data to tables, Excel tables. It only works with Excel tables. So I'm going to control T and press enter. So this is my first table. In the second sheet also, I'm going to press control T and press enter. This is my second table. So now this is my data. I can also rename the table. So if I select this table on top in the design tab, it's written table one. Rename this table if you want from here. Uh, let's keep it as it is. We don't need to rename it right now. Doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and start creating our pivot table. So mind you, we are creating our pivot table from table one. So I'm going to say insert pivot table. Table range is table one. And I'm saying add this data to the data model. It'll take a minute and it'll create something. Now little different options are available here. You see a table one and an active button. So now what you can do is you can go to all and you can actually see all the tables that are there in this file. So right now there are two tables. If there were 20 tables, you would see all 20 tables available here. But in the active is what you're going to be working on. That's why they're giving you two. So even if you have 20 pivot tables, you don't get confused. You only work on the active ones. But right now we want to work on both, right? At table one and table two. So I can go to all and I can right click on table two and show in active tab. When you do this, it shows the table two also here. So if you had 20 pivot tables, sorry, 20 Excel tables, you don't show all in the active tab. You only show the ones that you are going to work on. All right. Now from the table two, we are going to take order date. All right, it bifurcate as months. And from table one, I'm going to take the quantity, but it gives you the same result across because Excel does not right now know that there is a connection between this order ID and this order ID. We got to build that connection for Excel. So when you do that, this pop, pop-up appears where relationship between tables may be needed. So either you auto detect, which may or may not work in earlier version of Excel, it does not work. You create a create. Now we are saying the table one order ID is related to the table two's order ID. When you do this and you say, okay, it's now able to generate the correct results. So there is a linkage between the two. So we did not make any change in the data, no new formulas, and still we were able to build this report. I again go back to sheet one, table one, insert pivot table, tick on add this data to the data model, press OK. Now let's say we want to create a pivot table from the table two. So I'm going to say show in active tab, and I'm going to say delivery number of days in rows and order ID in values and I want to make it count. So I'm going to right click and say summarize by count. So this pivot table is again generated from two different sheets where it shows the number of orders that were delivered on the same day of the order date. The number of orders that took five days to deliver, 10 days to deliver, 20 and 25. So again, I generated a pivot table from across two sheets. You can use this method when you have data across sheets. So make sure you convert your data to a table, an Excel table using control T before moving forward. The project one is going to require you to do this. All right. So when you go to project one, make sure that you understand the data properly before you start solving it. Go ahead.